everyone and welcome to prompt number 83. Let's make a saying for these. Prompt 83, draw along with me. Haha, <laughs> oh, that was really corny. Anyways, let's just get into it. We've got, oh gosh, the wrong one again. How do I keep doing that? Okay, we've got pinball machine and erupting volcano. Those two actually go together pretty well because pinball machines usually have some sort of crazy theme, but let's see what I can do with it. So right away, what I was thinking is, like I said, pinball machines usually have some sort of crazy theme. So right away, I was thinking a volcano at the top of the machine exploding, or I guess erupting out the tickets for winning the game. Now I know this probably wouldn't go well because machines are designed for them to be ejected at the front where they're loaded, but this is an illustration where I can make up my own rules to my own world and I don't need you guys telling me that things don't make sense. Sorry, mini rant. A lot of people like to tell me that things I draw aren't how real world works and I'm just like, yeah, it's called I can draw what I want. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I have whoever is playing the pinball machine very excited because they've just won the biggest prize and all of their friends are around them very excited. But I did want to try a couple of other ideas. So I had an erupting volcano that had a bunch of garbage in it and people were visiting it, I guess, as a tourist attraction. I have no idea. Anyways, in the end, I decided to go with the first idea for obvious reasons. I mean, a volcano erupting garbage isn't the most exciting illustration. However, I ended up skewing the idea just a bit, and to be honest, I think I somewhat ruined it. Sure, it was really fun to have everybody gathered around a pinball machine being really excited that they had just won the jackpot prize, but I am not a very happy person. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I'm not depressed, I'm just... When people are very happy, it annoys me. So for some reason, I just thought, I don't want to draw a bunch of people excited and happy. I would rather destroy their hopes and dreams and make them miserable. So what I ended up doing with this illustration was destroying the hopes and dreams of those very excited children and had a bully come up to them and take their prize away. Maybe it's the whole I want to illustrate stories and I really enjoy my backstories with my illustrations because with the first idea, the whole everyone's excited and happy thing is kind of the conclusion of the story. What's the story there? There's, no, there's nothing left to tell. I mean, I guess I could have came up with this idea that they had been spending all day trying to win this grand prize and then they were going to turn in their tickets and get some big teddy bear or something. I don't know. But what I thought made a better story was having a bully claiming their prize and having them cower. Now, I will point out right away that that girl, the bully, does she not have a lean? Oh my goodness, that lean. I wanted to exaggerate her movement, her standing at a lean, but it just became like some sort of Michael Jackson dance. So she's very much leaning and she's gonna fall over. Who knows, maybe she is going to topple over because she's so cocky she didn't realize her balance was off and then the kids are gonna get their tickets back. I don't know, could be part of the story. No, I just drew a very leaning character. Anyways, so I wanted to create this ominous character that was leaning over these children, but I thought having it this like classic bully wearing baggy clothes, being a dude, that was just too cliche and I thought it would be more fun to make this sort of punk girl looking very cute. She's got her fishnet stockings and a hoodie dress, but her face is covered up and she's still sort of mysterious. So I really like this character design despite it being so simple. I thought it was really interesting to have a girl the bully this time instead of, you know, the classic guy as a bully. With all of that being said, I will be honest and say that I really don't like this illustration. I think if you cut it in half and keep the left side, I would be much happier with it, but everything to do with the right side, I just wasn't happy with. I think it of course began with the fact that I had to draw something very technical. So a pinball machine has a lot of mechanical stuff to it. I will admit right away that I did not put any detail inside that machine. That is a pathetic pinball machine. My excuse is that it's for children, hence why there are like five-year-olds playing it. But overall, I didn't put enough detail into it. I really liked the concept of this volcano exploding tickets and it having a sort of dinosaur theme to it. I thought that was really cute. 
But I think I really dropped the ball with the details with the machine. I think that would have really brought it together. And I also wanted to really differentiate the characters on the left and the right. So obviously the bully on the left, I wanted to make a much darker and gloomy mood. And the children on the right, I wanted to make them more colorful, more happy. Maybe this machine is tucked over next to the bathrooms where all the kids smoke. So it's like all happy and blue on the right. And then on the left, things are getting kind of grungy and dirty and dark. Maybe the lights are going out in the bathrooms. So I did want to make a difference between the brightness on the right and the darkness on the left, but I think I just went a little too bright with the yellows and the greens, and it's just a little too much for me. I also just really don't like the proportions of the children. I just don't like them. But later on, I make the best part, which is the Turnip King poster, which is what was in the thumbnail of this video. So you're probably like, where's this Turnip King thing with a sword? Well, it comes later on. It was the best part, so I had to put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with the tiles. I made them darker on the left and had them get lighter on the right. There were little small details here and there that I really enjoyed with this illustration, but I don't know what it is. I think there's just a lot of little small things about this one that I just didn't, didn't like. But that's fine. Not all of them can be winners. We will move on to the next illustration in the prompt and hopefully it'll be the best thing ever. I did put some garbage on the floor, like some stray pieces of popcorn snacks and a pile of gum, but my favorite was that soda drink that had that classic 80s or 90s little blue and teal or purple swirl. I thought that was kind of funny. I don't know why. I thought it was cute. Just a cute little detail. But yes, back to the Turnip King in the poster. So I had these posters on the left of the illustration and one of them was Breaking the Border. I really liked the way I did that. But I wanted to put some detail into creating some fake either arcade games or like pinball machines or something that was being advertised in this arcade machine. Arcade machine? Arcade... Alley? Arcade... Arcade! It's just an arcade. Why did I think there was more to it? <laughs> so I don't know why Turnip was the first thing that came to me, but I couldn't stop thinking about a Turnip King who fought things. So I think he's kind of cute, but I also wanted to advertise the Dino Ball because the whole concept behind the Dino Ball is that it's a pinball machine and the balls represent the asteroids that killed the dinosaurs or whatever, I don't know. There's volcanoes. The dinosaurs died, basically. I thought that was kind of cute, but I really like the Turnip King. Can I just cut out the Turnip King and then just keep that little like two inch by three inch illustration? Can that be it? It doesn't include any of the prompts, but I like it the most. It's moments like these that make me just want to take a prompt and create some sort of fake poster or fake product and do some old graphic design packaging and just kind of go hog wild with creating something fake and pretending it's real. I think that would be so much fun. One of these days, one of these days I will definitely do it. But for now, all we have is this Turnip King and Dino Ball. Dino Ball the best pinball game out there. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to me ramble on about how I don't like my drawing. And I will see you guys at the end card. Oh, for a special announcement. If you missed all of the announcements, I am going to be in Japan for the next few weeks. So this is the last end card until prompt number 88. So let's take a look at our featured artist. Our first piece is by Trin Aoki. I just loved the mood and energy in this illustration. It just looked like so much was happening and I absolutely loved it. Just look at those warm colors. And our second featured artist is Milk Nebula who created a monster you would find in the mushroom forest that I drew in the last prompt. He's a cutie. I love everything about this guy and his designs. And yes, yeah, so maybe I just really am into Posca pins right now. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining in on this prompt and I will see you in the next video. Bye!